was first acquired, Blickling Hall was held by Sir John Fastolf of Caister. He became a wealthy individual as a result of the Hundred Years' War, and his coat of arms is still on display in the hall to this day. As a result of his ownership, which lasted from 1380 to 1459, Blickling was acquired by the Boleyn family and served as the residence of Sir Thomas Boleyn and his wife Elizabeth from 1499 to 1505. A number of individuals were under the impression that their two children, George and Mary, were born in the hall. Anne Boleyn, the couple's most famous daughter, was born prior to the year 1505, and many people think that she was also born in the hall. Anne Boleyn would go on to become a queen in the future. The remains of the property that was held by the Boleyns were used as the foundation for the construction of the modern Blickling Hall that visitors see today. In 1616, Robert Lyminge, who was also the architect of the Hatfield House, created the construction that is now in place. The home was converted into the officer's mess of the Royal Air Force Olton during the Second World War when it was requisitioned by the military. Following that, the National Trust was given ownership of the home as well as the full land. Following the conclusion of the war, the home was released from its requisition and rented out to tenants until the year 1960. In 1962, it was eventually opened to the public and given the name Blickling Hall, Gardens and Park. Since then, it has been accessible to the public and has been in the care of the National Trust till the present day. Without a doubt, Anne Bolin is the most well-known ghost resident of Blickling Hall. It has been said that she was seen arriving to the hall in a carriage, which was also driven by a headless horseman and four headless horses, while wearing all white and bearing her severed and dripping head. She moves gracefully through the halls and chambers, as well as the innumerable passageways, till the dawn rises. To learn more about Anne Boleyn's ghost, you may read more here. Thomas Boleyn, Anne's father, is another spectral resident of Blickling. He inhabits the house forever. His daughter's marriage to the King of England was arranged by him carefully. It is stated that he has lost both his daughter and his son as a result of his wrongdoings, and as a form of retribution, he is compelled to cross a dozen bridges before Cockcrow for a thousand years. He travels from Blickling to Aylsham, then to Berg, then to Buxton Coltishall, then to Mayton, then to Oxnead, and culminates his journey at Roxham. He was likewise decapitated, and he carried his head between his arms. This was similar to what happened to his daughter. Additionally, it is stated that a flame, rather than blood, is expelled from his lips. According to legend, the headless apparitions of the Boleyns are not the only ghosts that are said to haunt this magnificent home. Blickling Hall is claimed to be haunted by Sir John Fastolf, the knight who lived in the 15th century and served as the inspiration for Shakespeare's Falstaff. Within the whole of the structure, he has been seen. In addition to this, there have been stories of the Grey Lady floating through walls, 